Today, we will learn how to deploy our Rails applications to Fly. Fly is a platform as a server similar to Render and Heroku. It allows for easy deployment and management of Docker images. To begin, we first create our Rails application and then we sign up to Fly. Once we sign up, we'll install the, CL the CLI for Fly, which you can simply do by following the instructions here. I already have this installed. So look at our Rails application here just generated one right now but for this we'll create a simple application we'll do rails generate scaffold article name and just say content or text now we will run rails db prepare we have set up our database and once we do that, we can update our routes. And we have it here. Start our server. And you can see our, our basic real application is working. Our database is set up with PostgreSQL. We'll also update our gem file where well, we have gem turbo rails we'll change the version that's because um, the version that's currently installed has been yanked so you can simply run bundle now to begin with fly or we to begin our deployment with fly we simply run fly ctl launch and it asks us what we need we want to give our application let's just give it a simple Fly deploy app and access for our region. We said it's uh, US. And we'll ask, would you like to set up a PostgreSQL database now? So we will do that. And it can give and it gives us various options for our database. With this, we'll select this dedicated CPU with two gigabytes of RAM. And while this has happened, you can see it's created a Docker file for us here with our Ruby version, our Node version, our Rails environment. And if you look at this right here, this fly.toml um, file, you can see the name that we set for our application is right here. And it has some other, our bundler version, our node version, our Ruby version. So, we can simply wait for this to build. You can see right here, FC has created our Postgres M database. It has given us our username, our password, our host name, and even our port. So we can save this in a file. Let's save this anywhere where it can be kept. You can see that everything has happened. And you can see our application is preparing for deployment. It shows our Ruby version, our Blender version, and our Node version. Let's also attach our database to our application. So to deploy our application, we simply run fly deploy remote only. Just copy this and paste it. And see, it starts building our application.
as you can see it's pushing our image to fly right here And it's running our release command here, which is bundles exec rails db migrate. Which you can see here, if you look our release command to this. So if you wanted to, you could um, also see the database right here. see version 0 has been deployed and there we go our application has been deployed so once we have signed in you can see our application here fly deploy app so once we click on it, you can see everything from our app. You can scale right here. You can even see our logs and our certificates. And Fly also gives us a URL to visit our application. So if we click on it, you can see our basic Rails application here. If we wanted to, if we say we made changes to our application and we wanted to deploy the changes, but let me just give you an example here. For instance, we want to add Tailwind to our application and it installs the dependencies. And then we can install Tailwind CSS in our application, right? That is done. So when we install Tailwind, like I said, it also comes with this generator. So let's do Rails generate. When the generator generates some CSS styling for us, so if we do Rails generate task, and say title string, and then Rails DP migrate. there but since we're using we'll start and um, we'll start foreman so if we come back to our application here you see the styling has changed a bit if we go over to task you see tailwind has been implemented here this task so to deploy these changes we simply run our, com our command again flight and um, deploy remote only So our application has been deployed, so let's check it out. So you can look at this here. You can see our styling has changed. When we visit this URL, we can see how simple it is to deploy with Fly. So that is that for this tutorial. This is an alternative means to deploying and hosting your Rails applications. 
It's fairly straightforward.